Nice. Well, keep our left. Um, now we're going to look at determining the concentration of ethanoic acid and vinegar. So vinegar is just a mixture of ethanoic acid, CH3COH, carboxylic acid, and water. So about 5-6% ethanoic acid. Yeah, it's made up of water. This is an example of a neutralization reaction. By that, I mean it's an acid and a base. React to give a salt and a water. And when you're studying acids and bases, uh, the definition of a salt. A salt is a compound obtained when the hydrogen of an acid is replaced by a metal. Now the metal in this is your group 1 or your alkali metal, Na. And it just swoops in, taking the place of your H in a 1 to 1 ratio. Um, in this, you're working out the concentration of the ethanoic acid and vinegar, and you have the following setup. So you've got an unknown concentration of diluted vinegar against a strong base such as sodium hydroxide. Now that could change. And the indicator you use in this case is phenolphthalein indicator because it's a weak acid, strong base titration. So always in a weak acid, strong base titration, we use phenolphthalein because the color change lies within the vertical part of the curve. So it's pink and a base, pink at the start, and colorless when that one extra drop of the acid uh, turns it slightly acidic to give you the colorless. Mm. The thing you've got to be careful of in this is the dilution factor. Um, so they'll generally say a dilution factor. We must actually have a wee look at this question that we're going to do uh, and see what the dilution factor was. I'll have a wee skim through it. Uh, I forgot to write, write it down. So I'm going to do the 2008 higher level question one. And then that leaves you with the 2016 question one, which is in first principles. And we'll do this in first principles as well. Mm. Now, I've already skimmed down um, the titration conclusion, my titcon, sussing out the information. To get this here figure, they provided you with 22.9, 22.6, and 22.7 centimeters cubed of vinegar here. And just remember when you're doing your titration, it's one rough accurate so we ignore the 22.9 and but they're too accurate you find the mean of them so you add them up divide by two and you get your 22.65 i'll just have a wee look at the dilution factor now there we see in part b the dilution factor for measuring exactly 25 centimeters cubed of vinegar and diluting it to 250 so one and ten if you're unsure how you get that it's unpopular here 25 in 250 and even if you're unsure in fractions but i'm sure you'll be grand at them 25 in 250 you get a 1 in 10 dilution otherwise an excessive amount of reagents would be required and um, we go on to look at redox titrations of bleach you'll be looking at the dilution factor as well so we'll make a start in this uh, it doesn't matter what side you write i just write the information down that I come across. I generally pick the one. Jeez, Mac. I generally pick the one um, with the awkward figure from the Oglurette. Um, and that's obvious because they're not nice numbers. Now in this is say we don't know its concentration. So you work with all the ones that we have all the information of and you can see that's your NaOH. So we'll do this first principles again because that's how the last few years have been catered for. And once I see that big M, I'm gonna work with that. So first thing they'll ask you is the number of moles of NaOH or whatever base it may be. So once I see that big M, 0.1 M, that means 0.1 moles per litre. How do we say that in maths? 0.1 N, that there, we slash there means N, N a thousand because one litre equal to a thousand centimeters cubed or a thousand milliliters and that's what we're dealing with here so 0 0.1 over a thousand how much did we use 25 so we'll get that in a nice wee habit to do 0 0.1 over a thousand times that by 25 1 over 400 or 0 0.0025 sometimes you might get that in scientific notation 2.5 by 10 to the minus 3 if you ever want to get rid of the scientific notation shift mode 8 for Norman and then 2 and it gives you that there nice number 
but if you like the scientific notation bats are on um, moles per how much 25 centimeters cubed the next thing like our stoichiometry we can see in this the ratio of ethanoic acid to sodium hydroxide is one is to one i'll ask you for the number of moles of eth ethanoic acid and that might say the number of moles of ethanoic acid per 22.65 centimeter cubed per titration figure or per centimeter cubed so since it's a one-to-one -one ratio we know that there's the same number of moles as this 0.0025 moles per 22.65 now if they did ask you per centimeter cubed that means in one centimeter cubed you simply divide that by 22.65 um yeah i'm getting 0 0.00011 but number of moles uh, per 22.65 that's the same then they might ask you for the concentration or the molarity of ch3 now once you see molarity that big m like up here means the number of moles in a liter so you just have to change this here bit of english basically into maths so 0025 in 22.65 and to bring it up to molarity we bring it up to a thousand centimeters cubed so i have divided by 22.65 there multiply it by a thousand 0 0.11 and again just never delete this information off your calculator so that is the concentration of diluted vinegar now it's important that you label everything this is the diluted vinegar here now we'll have a wee look at what the question does say calculate the concentration of the diluted solution of ethanoic acid in moles per liter which we've done and in grams per liter sometimes they might go straight into the original vinegar in moles per liter and we'll show you what you do with that so now we'll change that to grams per liter when you're going from moles to grams remember when you're leaving moles to mass and grams you're just multiplying by relative molecular mass so you work out the relative molecular mass of ch3coh i'll do it up here so not to waste any room there's two carbons two times 12 24 that's just the mass number of carbon there's three four hydrogens and then there's two oxygens two o's and when you add those up 30 50 and that is 60. So 0.11, I'll go, we'll say concentration of diluted in grams per liter. So 0 0.11 multiplied by the relative molecular mass, which is 60. Just never delete anything here in your calculator. 6.62 grams per liter. And again, that's of the diluted vinegar. Then it says state the concentration in the original vinegar in grams per liter. So there's a wee link in below for the exam paper. Um, but as I say, it's 2008. So that's the diluted vinegar. Now you're going to bring in the dilution factor. So the dilution factor in this said it was 25 and 250. So that, if you throw that in your calculator, or simplify it down, it's a 1 in 10 dilution. So this is 10 times weaker. So to bring it up to the original solution, we multiply it by 10. So that's the key thing in this uh, experiment calculation or titration calculation for the dilution factor. There's generally a twist in each of them. That's the one in this. It's the same thing in bleach as well. So you times that by two, you get 66.2 grams per liter, but I'll just tap all my decimals, 66.225. 225 and that's of me original or they might say me undiluted all right undiluted vinegar just never be put off how them questions are phrased the only thing you'll have to look at is the dilution factor and then you can just bat around from the start and then go back and pick out the information sometimes you just got to be careful they might say the concentration of the original vinegar here so in moles per liter you have to multiply that by 10 and you get 1.1 1 
and I think again, one point nine million is per liter. And then the last thing they always ask you for this is percentage weight per volume. So weight, in this case, not like physics, mass, it's grams per, and what you see is percent um, is out of 100. So it's grams per 100 centimeters cubed. Some people are very good at seeing this. If you can see it's 66.225 grams in a liter, which is 1,000 centimeters cubed, how will you work it out to bring it back to 100 centimeters cubed? You divide it by 10, so you get 6.62. Another way you might have done it, how did we say this backslash means in? If we did up here. So how do we say that? 66.225 in a liter. And to make anything a percent, you times it by a hundred. So we divide that by a thousand, multiply that by a hundred. You get 6.62, as we say that, 6.62 percent weight per volume. And that's the answer. It looks a good, decent answer. I remember doing this experiment in class and decided the bottle was like 5% acid, it said on the side or whatever.